I had some people ask about the pricking up method and I thought I would show you all what that means. Now I typically do pricking up in a container that is this big filled with soil and I just drop the seeds in and cover them up. It's easier than trying to put little seeds in here and then having to pinch off seedlings because that way seed. But when I put my seeds in here and yeah, if anybody can tell me whether that's comfrey or sorrel, that would be great because one line of comfrey didn't grow and one line of sorrel, I'm thinking it's comfrey, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna do a method called pricking up. So I'm gonna use something pretty small. A lot of people use what's called a dabber. I'm using a seed used, a seed, a stick used for making kebabs. And I'm just gonna separate out the seedlings and then put them into their own seed container back here. You wanna do this whenever the plants have their first true set of leaves. And I'm actually looking at this and that's an arrow shaped leaf, so that might be sorrel. Well, we're gonna see. We have a whole bunch of little ones to do, so take a look. All right, so I'm going to take the dabber, AKA stick, and gently put it into the soil. We'll do this one. Actually, I'm gonna leave that one there. We'll come into here and I'm gonna go down almost all the way to the bottom, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Come to the other side, make sure that I'm not breaking a stem. Loosen it up there. Come over here, same thing, loosen it up. And then you can start seeing if you've loosened the soil enough to lift the seedlings out. Sometimes you'll get one, sometimes you might get another, just be super gentle. And then you either need to hold these by the soil or the true leaves if possible, because the saying goes, you can always regrow a leaf, but you cannot regrow a stem. So I do have two here. So I'm gonna hold it by the leaf, hold it by the other leaf, and then gently pull. And if they're stuck together, then I'm gonna come back, grab the soil, and just pull them apart until you have two seedlings. And then I'm gonna go over to the new spot to put this plant in. Use the dibber again. Push it down to the bottom and then swirl it around so you make the top part of the hole bigger than the bottom. Grab the seedling again by the true leaf. Drop it in, holding the leaves, and then you can use the dabber, dibber, dabber, someone tell me what it's called, to gently push the roots down and cover up the seedling. And that's it. And I have a whole lot of work to do. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Uh, and not funny. Bite that one to swallow it. Oh my God. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> All right, Chef Hubby's done being disgusting. That was the funny part, but literally I was trying to film and he was <laughs> taking a very loud slurpy drink after eating Chex Mix. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud. All right. We finished, we as an I, finished pricking up all of those seedlings. So they're in the back here. That is a 72 cell uh, unit. I cannot believe that there were 72 babies in those, like pretty much these main two rows right here. But that's it. So that's what happens when you overseed cells. Don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. I like to share my mistakes with you guys because I know that all of us uh, make them. Pricking up is a really good thing to do, just not in cells like this. Typically, if you would have, you know, just a couple seedlings, and those are some leggy seedlings right there, you would just pinch off the other ones and continue going on so that you're not disturbing roots in that small of an area. But if you happen to make a mistake where you have too many in one spot, this is what you can do. And after you do this, they're stressed. You've exposed their roots. You've moved them around. You've broken a couple off. So don't put them into even... Um, indirect window sun, put them like underneath the table, let them hang out, throw a towel over them as long as you can still get a little bit of air too for three days just to kind of recoup and then you can go back to whatever method you are using to grow out your seedlings. Make sure to give them rest whenever you transplant anything. All right, thank you. Have fun. Happy growing.